There may be trouble Renovation is a, um, a project that's um, been set up for youth music mentors, um, for selected young people in Bristol in challenging circumstances uh, to, um, to do some music mentoring activities at the Colston Hall. They all have different skills and they've all kind of been selected and teamed up with a, a mentor who's got something to teach them or to, to show them but also to support them. The overall aim of the programme is to improve the life chances of uh, young people through music-based mentoring. The idea is, is to create something amazing, you know, not just something, okay, you've turned up and done these sessions and you've been mentored for a certain amount of time, we tick some boxes and send you on your way. It's more like, actually, we're gonna create something amazing with these kids. <laughs> When the new Colston Hall building was being built, some of us were sort of looking at ideas to, to do some work with young people around that. And we had this idea of doing some music that was based on old music. We've gone up to the Colston Hall bar, Hall 2 they call it now, and on the walls there's all the bands, the famous bands that have performed at the Colston Hall. There's you know, David Bowie, Bob Marley, Bob Dylan, Bob, no, Bob Hope, no. But all sorts, Ella Fitzgerald. Um, you know, lots of lots of famous people from back in the day. A lot of which many of these young people won't have heard of or, or listened to. Um, what we've done, we've collected a bunch of MP3s, and we've we've put them on all the computers, and we've said that they need to use those as the inspiration or the starting point in some way for the work they do. We chose Ella Fitzgerald, <laughs> and um, yeah, and we've got we've got some of her lyrics by you the song Cry Me River and then that's gonna be the chorus for the song. Cry me a river, cry me a river. best pieces that a lot of them have picked up on is a Led Zeppelin drum break at the start of when the levee break it's like a really nice bit of drumming and we're talking to them about the sound like how it sounds and, and um, the fact it was recorded in a you know, big space or in a stairwell with lots of space around it actually sounds like it's been you know really heavily processed with lots of reverb and delay and things like that but it's not it's just natural recordings with mics in different positions. I think Nathan's really good at you know listening and using his ears to guide him in his music. But what I'm saying is, if he knew more about the theory of music, you know certain keys and, and key scales, I think combining the two together would create a really efficient way of making music. The way that a lot of these guys work musically, they don't have a formal understanding of music in the way that somebody may have done. Uh, in their position 30 or 40 years ago in terms of they haven't had to learn their scales they haven't had to learn about western sort of tonality and harmony and chords and they're not going to sit down and go should we start this with the game and you know, should we follow it with this chord they're not thinking about that and, and that kind of thinking heavily borrows from other musical generations we've been doing a lot of sort of group work and uh, piecing the tracks together all as a group really I mean we made the tracks individually but when it came to actually transferring everything to a live version, it's been more of a group input. So every single different pair uh, has had something else to offer. Yeah, I think some like some beats that we made when we first started, I thought like, how are we gonna play this all live? Like I was thinking, nah, it's too hard. Like I can't imagine this live, but it sounds exactly the same with the drums. Every single song, somehow, like even if it's just triggering samples or playing the instrument. Um, I think I developed a lot just in just in my songwriting, uh, 
just knowing how to do music, basically just like working together as a team, obviously with the live stuff that you've been doing, just like working together to make sure the tracks go well for our final performance on Friday. Hopefully it's going to feel like a genuine collaboration and there may be moments during the process where we're not quite sure who's going to there's going to be a lot of mutual support for happening. You see artists and you perceive that they're just, you know, they're, they're, they're born into it or they just have suddenly, they're, they're famous, but what you don't see is the hard work that they put in along the way. And, and less so, you understand how that has to happen. Pretty much all the, all the mentees have come from quite challenging circumstances in one way or another. I know that they all have ability, but some of them are either at risk of being excluded or at risk of offending and that kind of thing. Or some of them have, you know, been through the yacht and the youth offending team and all that kind of stuff. So they've got stuff going on, but they've got also got a lot of commitment to music. A lot of commitment to music.